Hey everyone. All right, today's video is going to be over constant rate of change. Your objective, I will be able to represent constant rates of change in mathematical and real world problems. So a rate of change is a rate that describes how one quantity changes in relation to another. And whenever that change is consistent between quantities, which means it's the same every time, then it's going to be a constant rate of change. So let's say that someone is driving their car and in one hour they drive 60 miles. And then in the next hour they drive 60 more miles and the hour after that they drive another 60. So their miles are changing by 60 each time. So that would be a constant rate of change. A constant rate of change is going to create a diagonal line and it's going to be linear. Remember linear means it's a line whenever we graph it. Now, this right here would not be a constant rate of change because it has a curve. And then here there would be no rate of change because the y value stays exactly the same. So a constant rate of change is going to be a diagonal linear graph. All right, so let's talk about how to actually calculate a rate of change, a constant rate of change if we are given values. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the pattern of change in the dependent variable, and that's the y value. We're just going to subtract and see what the difference is between each one. Then we are going to find the pattern of change in the independent variable, which is x. So we'll subtract between each x value, and then we're going to divide. And whenever we divide, we take the difference in the y and divide it by the difference in the x. And that's really the change in y divided by the change in x. So let's do some examples together. All right, example one, what is the constant rate of change between the quantities in the table? So here we have the number of dogs and the number of legs that those dogs would have. So the number of legs is going to depend on how many dogs you have. So dogs would have to be independent. So dogs would be X and the number of legs would be Y. So we are going to find the change in y. So we want to see what's the difference between each of these values. So if we are going from 8 to 20, that is increasing by 12 legs. And we know that because 20 minus 8 is 12. From 20 to 28, it increases by 8 legs because 28 minus 20 is 8. And then from 28 to 40, that is increasing by 12 because 40 minus 12 is 28. Now we're going to find the difference in x. So 5 minus 2 is 3, 7 minus 5 is 2, and 10 minus 7 is 3. Now you may be wondering if this is a constant rate of change, then how come these change by different amounts? How come they're not all the exact same value? Well, if you look here, this is not a perfect pattern. Okay, from two to five increases by three, from five to seven it increases by two. But what we are concerned about is if the y value is consistent with the x. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of those differences because we wanna take the change in y divided by the change in x. And if you see this little triangle, it means change so I'm going to take one of the y values, so let's say 12. I'm going to take 12, and I'm going to divide it by its corresponding x value, which would be 3, and 12 divided by 3 equals 4. And as you could see here, if I had done 8 divided by 2, that equals 4, and 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So our constant rate of change would be 4. All right, example two, use the table to find the constant rate of change. So here we don't actually have the values for x and y, but we're gonna use the table to determine that. So our very first point is at the origin, that's zero, zero. Then we have a point at x equals two and y equals 80. We then have a point where x equals four and y equals 160. And we have a point where x equals 6 and y equals 240. So 
So I am going to find how y is changing. So from 0 to 80, it changed by 80. From 80 to 160, it changed by 80. And from 160 to 240, it changed by 80. So unlike the last problem, this is very consistent and we have the same difference. And the reason that's happening is because this is a consistent pattern over here. So from 0 to 2, that changed by 2. 2 to 4, that changes by 2. From 4 to 6, that changes by 2. So now to find the constant rate of change, I want to take the change in y and I want to divide that by the change in x. So since 80 is all we have to choose from, I'm going to do 80. And then let's say I picked this value here. So I would divide it by 2. And 80 divided by 2 is 40. So our constant rate of change for this relationship is 40. All right, example 3. A computer program charges customers per line of code written. Find the constant rate of change. Okay, so there are lines of code and then there's a total cost. And remember that total cost is always dependent. And then the lines of code would have to be independent. Independent is represented with X. Dependent is represented with Y. So I'm going to find the change in Y. So from 1,000 to 2,000, that changed by another 1,000. From 2,000 to 3,000, that changed by another 1,000. And from 3,000 to 4,000, it changed by another 1,000. Now let's find our change in x. From 50 to 100, that changed by 50. From 100 to 150, it also changed by 50. And from 150 to 200, it changed by 50. So to find the constant rate of change, I'm going to take that change in y, divide it by the change in x. So let's say I choose this 1,000 right here. So I have 1,000, and I'm going to pick the corresponding change on the other side. 1,000 divided by 50. And if we use our zero trick and cross out zeros, that would be 100 divided by 5, which is 20. So our constant rate of change would be 20. All right, now it is time for you to try. Make sure you identify your x and y values. Find your change in y, change in x, and then divide. Make sure you show all of your work, and we will see you next class day.